Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us take a look into at controller annotation. Well, Spring provides at controller annotation to make a Java class as a Spring MUC controller. The at controller annotation indicates that a particular class serves the role of a controller. Well, whenever you annotate a class with at controller annotation, then that class becomes a Spring MUC controller. Well, a controller in a Spring MUC web application is a component that handles incoming HTTP request. Add controller annotation is simply a specialization of add component annotation that allows us to auto detect implementation classes through the component scanning. It means add controller annotation is derived from add component annotation and whenever we annotate a class with add controller annotation, the Spring IOC container will automatically detect that class and it will create a Spring bean for that class. All right. Next. We typically use add controller in a combination with add request mapping annotation for request handling methods. Next, let me demonstrate all these points with an example. So let me go to IntelliJ IDEA and let me go to project over here. So first of all, we need to add Spring Boot Starter Web Dependency. So go to Parameter Simple File and go to Dependency section over here. Here we need to add a Spring Boot Starter Web Dependency in order to build Spring MUC based applications. So here we have Spring Boot Starter. So let's convert it into Spring Boot Starter Web. All right. So remember, whenever you want to develop the REST APIs or Spring MUC web applications, then you have to use Spring Boot Starter Web dependency. Next, go ahead and click on this Load Maven Changes icon over here. All right. Perfect. Now we have added Spring Boot Starter Web dependency. This dependency internally uses Spring MUC related dependencies. For example, look at here Spring Web. Spring Web MUC and this dependency also internally provides embedded Tomcat server to quickly run the Spring MUC application in a embedded Tomcat server. And also this dependency internally includes all the required JSON libraries. All right. So just remember whenever you want to develop the REST APIs or Spring MUC based applications, then you can go ahead and use this Spring Boot Starter Web dependency. All right. Perfect. Next, go to controller package. Within a controller package, let's create a class. Let's give name as book controller. Next, let us annotate this book controller class with add controller annotation and make sure that you choose add controller annotation from org.springframework.stereotype package. Well, whenever we annotate a class with add controller annotation, then this class becomes a Spring MUC controller and this class is capable to handle the incoming HTTP request. Next, if you go inside this add controller annotation, this add controller annotation is an alias for add component annotation. It means add controller annotation is a specialization of add component annotation. And whenever we annotate a class with add controller annotation, the Spring IOC container will automatically detect that class and automatically create a Spring bean for that class. All right, perfect. Next, let's go back to book controller over here. Next, within a book controller, we can create a handler methods that will handle the incoming HTTP request. For example, here, let's create a method public string. Let's give method name hello world. Next, let us return some string. Let us say hello world. Perfect. Now we have created a method. Let's make this method as a handler method by annotating this method with at request mapping annotation and make sure that you choose add request mapping annotation from annotation package. Next, we can specify the URL for this handler method. For example, here, let us say hello world. All right. And if you look at the points over here, we typically use add controller in a combination with add request mapping, you know, annotation for request handling methods. So this is what we have done over here. We have used add controller annotation along with add request mapping annotation to handle this incoming HTTP request. Next, we need to annotate this method with one more annotation that is at response body annotation. Well, whenever you want to develop the REST API using Spring MUC, then you have to annotate a handler method with at response annotation so that this handler method will return the JSON as a response to the client. Okay. And this at response body annotation internally uses Spring MUC provided HTTP message converters to convert the response into a JSON format and then it will return that JSON into client. All right. So just remember whenever you want to 
develop the REST API using Spring MUC, then you have to use these three annotations. Next, let us go ahead and let us run the Spring Boot application and let us see how this works. So from this main entity point class, I'm going to run the Spring Boot application. And if you can notice here, our Spring Boot application is running in an embedded Tomcat server on port 8080. Next, let's go to browser. In a new tab, just type localhost 8080 slash hello world and hit enter and there we go. The REST API return the response that is hello world string. Okay, next, let's go back to our project and let's go to book controller. Now let's create one more REST API that return the book object in a JSON format. So here what we will do, we'll create a new package. Let's call it as bins and within a bin package, let's quickly create a class. Let's call it as book and let us define the instance variables private int id private string book title and then private string description so here is a typo this should be string perfect next let us go ahead and let us create a constructor generate constructor and select all the fields and also create a getter setter method over here right click generate choose getter setter and choose all these fields click on ok now we have created a book class next let's go to book controller and within a book controller let's create a rest api that return a book instance in a json format so here just follow the same steps let us first create a method public and in this case let us return book as a return type and let's give method name as get book and then here within this method let's create an instance of book first book book equal to new book and then let us pass book id 1 and let us give the title something like core java next let us give description learn core java and latest features something like that next let us go ahead and let us return this book instance so here let us return the book instance now we have created a method let's make this method as a rest api by annotating this method with at request mapping annotation and let's specify the url let us say book next in order to return this java object as a json to the client we have to annotate this method with at response body annotation all right perfect next let us go ahead and let us run the spring boot application and let us see how this rest api works so go to main entity point class over here and from here let us run the spring boot application perfect our spring boot application is up and running in embedded tomcat server on port 8080 next let's go to browser and here let us type the url localhost 8080 slash book hit enter and there we go the rest api return the response that is the book object in a json format so this is how we develop the rest api using spring muc so let me recap the important points whenever we annotate a class with add controller annotation then this class becomes a spring muc controller and it is capable to handle the http request and add control annotation is a specialization of add component annotation and whenever we annotate a class with add control annotation then spring ioc container will auto automatically scan that class and it will automatically create a spring bean for that class next within a add controller class we create a handler methods and we make these handler methods you know rest api by using add request mapping and add request body annotation next this add request mapping annotation is used to map the incoming http request to this particular method next add response body annotation is used to convert the return type of this method into the json format and then you know write that json into http response object and then it will return that http response object back to the client all right so we'll learn more about this add request mapping annotation in upcoming lectures as well all right so this is all about add controller annotation all right great i will see you in the next lecture